nefarious intent to to restrict the the exposure and I think it was actually it was the Daily Mail that acquired this secondary video and made it public was it being suppressed do you think no I think that you know I I think that they, they want to control how evidence comes out I think that that the police department as well as the DA's office want to make sure that information is not leaked in advance to the public, particularly in such a high profile case like this, because you don't want the public making up their minds uh, before a defendant has the opportunity to a fair trial. No matter how you feel about uh, Derek Chauvin and in, in what he did um, you know, last May, you know, we live in a country where there is a presumption of in innocence and it is something that is just sacred in our criminal justice system. And I think that you, you release too much information and you try a case in the, the, in the public before um, a jury has a chance to hear it. You end up tainting jurors and you end up uh, creating chaos. And I think that that is why a lot of, a lot of this information was not released initially. Yeah, you know, you know, I agree with your sentiment, but I 